All right, Coach, if you can give us your positive takeaways from tonight's oh, match. It, it, was a, it was a tough game. I'll give a lot of uh, credit to, to Elon and their coach. Rivo does a good job with them. They came in well-schooled. The tactics were good. They caught us on an early one, and then we were in scramble mode. So um, I'm just glad, glad the guys kind of dug in, found a way to get some goals, had some patience. Um, so in, in, in a lot of ways, it was just a good college win. Awesome. Questions? So you bring in um, Jalen off the bench in the second half. I'm sure that was just the plan to get him a little rest, or did you sense something there? Well, it, here's what was happening. They were kind of digging in. Um, they were kind of, uh, they could say, parking the bus, but they were really playing deep. And we felt like if he could he could pop off the forwards, I mean the backs, and get a little space created and, and maybe just give him a different look. And he's very smart about where he runs in the gaps. So we did actually low row in him. And both those guys have really intelligent runs, so we just we didn't throw big bodies, big forwards. We just took guys that were creative, and uh, it worked. And, and he did a good job with his space. When you score two goals and win two one, he's going to get the headlines. But Allen had to make some incredible saves on one on one. How important was that? Yeah, Allen's come up big, and then honestly, the one they tried to chip him on was really good. We had talked about it beforehand that he, they were going to try at some point. So he was, you know, I, I appreciate him being schooled and what he when he did there, but. Yeah, he came up big, and they and they had some chances late, and uh, he was in good position. So I'm just glad we were able to, you know, okay, him make the save and then keep on the net. Um, can you highlight any specific tactics you used in this game that you may um, that may have helped you? Well, I think against Clemson we sat too deep, um, and if you notice in this game we really challenged the guys to push a little bit up and and try to live in the other team's half, and we did that probably to excess and. Uh, for us, I think that was a good one for us because I think we have the talent to pin teams in, um, but we also have the you know we have the discipline to sit in deep. We have to, but today it was just basically trying to pin the team in. Yeah, and then in the last game you mentioned that you wanted um, to see more connection on your offense. Um, did you see that today? Yeah, I think that's why the ball movement was pretty good towards the end. I think we were a little sloppy in the final third, but in general there was there was much more opportunities. In the first half, we had I would say two or three opportunities that should have been a goal. So. Those were different type of opportunities, but I think in the second half, I think the ball movement, the player movement, the just the, the overall kind of rotation of the ball was very good. Yeah, and my last question for you is about Anderson. Um, was he an expected player that you thought was going to show up with those leadership skills you've been pushing on your players? Yeah, I don't know. He's a quiet leader, so I don't see much of that. But I think that for him, I think he fits our system, uh, and he likes it here, and he likes the guys, and I think that's a natural kind of chemistry for you know a guy to step forward and, and give a little experience and hand it out to the younger guys. I, I know you haven't talked about it, but I think the kid that jumped in the mid, midfield today, Pedro, had a really good mm -hmm. game. And that was his first real kind of experience there for us. So it was nice to see him go to a good game. Just from a psychology perspective, going into SMU next and getting this win and heading into conference play, just how good is that for this group to get that one? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you nailed it. I don't think there's any... There's no kind of rocket science there. We go into this game, you come out of this game with a win and a tough win. Um, going against SMU, who's a good team, and I think we, we believe in what we're doing, and I think we're just slowly kind of scratching the surface of who we could be. So right now it's just get ourselves some rest, get ourselves prepared, and we're going to go out. We've both gotten plenty of times in those positions, but specifically with Jamon and Richard out there for the multitude of the night. Was that something that you saw with those guys? Working? Yeah, it's what, what they, you know, here's, J Jamon is learning that role, and it's and it's kind of morphed because we've changed the formations, but he's learning that that, that wide wing back role, um, and I think he's done a really good job. He has good pace, pace with, with and without the ball, and he creates a little bit of danger with that left foot. And then you have on the other side, you have, Richie, who has, I think, some really good ideas, and he's just really kind of coming into his own with Division One. So I think both of them are kind of growing as we see them, um, but they have the, they have the technical ability, they have the speed, they have the athleticism to play that role. And and look, we got backups that started here last year. So the nice thing is, is if we have to fall on those guys, we have a captain sitting there right in the wings that offers minutes. So it's pretty, it's a luxury I like. Awesome, thank you, coach.